what it do? What's up, Kenna? Hey, 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 hey! What's pop a and curly crew? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a perm rise set on stretched natural hair, and y'all, I'm so excited to see these results. Now, if you guys are wondering, sis, what's going on with the setup? Let me be real with y'all, real quick. Honestly, y'all, your good sis just did not feel like setting up in the studio room. I felt like setting up where I felt most comfortable and it's literally by a window. Like my camera is sitting on a window right now with my little suction and this just feels more natural to me. It feels, I'm literally sitting on my couch in my living room. I also am not feeling the best right now, but I wanted to still create this content for you guys because I feel like this result is going to be popping and I most definitely want to share it with y'all. But I most definitely just wanted to do something that was more comfortable and more true to me in my studio room right now. It's just not somewhere that I really want to create content. That's why I've been doing it like in the bathroom or in a different part of my room. Like, I don't know. I'm just in a not really sure how to describe it mood right now. <laughs> So that's why I wanted to come and just do it right here because it's my living room. I feel comfortable. I feel good. I'm by the window. It's just more natural to me, okay? So, like I said in today's video, we are doing a perm rise set on stretch natural hair. And I, the perm rods that I'm going to be using are the orange perm rods. You guys know the ones I always use. And then I'm also going to be using my Lot of Body with Milk and Honey Rich. Refine Me Curl Defining Mousse. This is what it looks like. And I really wanted to give this one a shot because I just feel like it will really give me the nice results that I want. I also saw this girl on Instagram. She did a perm rise set and hers is on stretched hair and popping, which is who this style is inspired by. I try to leave it on the screen or, in, or somewhere so you guys can know who I'm talking about. But um, she used this on her hair as well. And, well, no, she used the blue one from Lala Body, but I didn't own that one, so I just said, I'll use this one. So, I'm going to go ahead, oh, I want to say I'm going to go ahead and get started, but I had not finished doing my intro. If you are new to your girl's channel, make sure to do one thing before clicking off this video, and that is to smash that button down below for your good sis, okay? Smash that button down below, okay? Like you mean it, and join the Curly Crew, because we would love to have you. <laughs> Also, I'm just not realizing I'm literally recording without my microphone. So if it sounds weird, it's because my mic is not attached. So, oh well, we're doing what's natural to me today, okay? <laughs> and also, y'all, side note, I just feel really beautiful today. Like, in my natural element. Like, I don't know. I just feel really good and beautiful. But it's so funny because I was waiting to see, like, what was I gonna do with my hair as a style? And I like nothing literally came to me, like nothing. And then I was on Instagram and I saw her do the perm I set on stretched hair and I was like, I'm doing that. So I'm gonna take two pumps of my foam and I also only put a little spray leave-in conditioner in my hair and also this Afro butter I put in my hair too um, by Afro Sheen. But for the spray leave-in, it was by Afro G. And I put that in my last video in case you have in case you guys have not seen that video. So I'm gonna just add one more, like half of a pump to my ends. And I have never done a perm rise set on stretched hair, I don't I don't believe. So for the end, I'm going to wrap it around and make sure my ends are tucked. And then roll it up a few more times and then start to do a spiral type of motion. Oops. Just like this. You guys can see that. This is the way it looks like. And then I'm going to clip it on the side that's over the rod, not under the rod. You want to clip it over the rod. I'll show you guys that more in person whenever I'm closer to the, I mean, more, not more in person, more in depth whenever I'm closer to the front. But that's what helps it stay in its place. As far as my size sections, I'm not doing two larger sections. This right here is going to be two perm rides, um, only because it is on dry hair and I just don't want it to come out like not defined. So I'm putting about five pumps of mousse 
and it's gonna go over both of these. And mousses are water-based, so it's going to shrink up a little bit, but that's why you want to try to put it on a rod before it actually shrinks up. start rolling on up. Like this is just so nice to just sit by the window and be able to enjoy doing my hair. And when you're doing these, you wanna make sure that you're getting it very, very tight at the root. Wait, one girl, I didn't realize that. You wanna make sure you're getting it very, very tight at the root because if not, your roots will be frizzy. And sis, sorry to tell you, but that ain't cute. <laughs> section back here looks like girl I hope it's cute I hope it's a cute situation back there because I sure cannot see but I'm gonna go on to the front and this is when I'm really gonna be able to show y'all in detail like the things I was talking about with the prom rides <sighs> I'm already tired y'all this is why I don't like doing prom rides since I get tired really pay attention to my ends and to my roots that's what's like super important y'all for this style because the ends, if the ends ain't popping, I haven't said this in a long time. So I'm not even gonna comment the rest of my saying. I'ma just see if somebody go comment and if, if y'all remember. If the ends ain't popping, blank, 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 blank. I'ma see who get it right. But if your ends ain't right, y'all, literally your whole style will not look right. And if your roots are not tight, at, if it's not tight at the root, that's not going to look right either. So what I was saying was, whenever you get to the root, you want to hook the rod on the side that's closest to that, that where it's like overlapping the front rod. You don't want to hook it on this side because it's still going to come loose and loosen up like as you're drying. So you want to make sure that you're hooking it like this right here and then it'll stay in that place whereas if I would have hooked it on this side it would have like fell down type of thing and y'all my curls feel so good in my scalp when I have not even my curls I don't have no curls right now but my hair feels so good and so does my scalp um after the routine that I did yesterday to my hair to really get that wig residue off and everything and just give myself like a deep wash if you have not seen that routine go watch it in my last video um it was good
And I also sat underneath the hooded dryer just to make sure that it was fully dry. Also, my what you're hearing right now, in case you guys do hear a noise, I'm drying some clothes, so just ignore that. But oh, I did not get any oil. I need to get some oil. Hold on. All right, girl. So I got my melanin hair care oil because duh. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my hands, rub it on in, and now we're gonna go in and start separating. Well, taking them down, I should say. And y'all, what I'm most like wondering about or cautious about is the amount of frizz I feel like I'll have because I did do it on dry hair. And like y'all can already see like back here how this piece is like very frizzy. So I'm like kind of worried about that, hoping that it's not too frizzy when I take them down. But it most definitely did not take that long to dry since I did do it on stretched hair already. But do y'all see that curl definition? Ooh! because you don't want to add too much oil but you want to just add a little bit of oil that's just the right amount just so when you're separating your fingers are gliding with your hair instead of like causing friction with your hair so I'm going to take this one and then separate it feel where it wants to naturally separate oh also you have to find the direction that your hair is curling in so I'm gonna look at my curl and it's curling in this direction. And when you do it, it should fall downward. If you curl it in the wrong direction, it will bunch up like that, okay? So that is a major key, y'all. In case y'all perm rise sets be looking like froze when y'all finish, instead of, you know, drop down perm rise sets, <laughs> that is why it says, because you're curling it in the wrong direction, okay? Shoot, your thing should be falling down. It should not be looking like pink curls smashed up against your head. <laughs> so I'm gonna just keep on separating. And the more that you separate, the more volume that you're gonna get. And so like if you want it to last longer and have less volume, then you don't separate that much. But if you just want the big voluminized look right now, then go ahead and separate a lot. Which y'all know, I always go for the big voluminized look, honey. 
So as I'm separating this side, y'all, I'm realizing that this side is actually more elongated naturally than this side is. Like, I don't know if I curled this side tighter or what, but I feel like this side is more, it's more like loose and more like, ooh, I like it. But then I look in the mirror, no, see like this part right here is shorter on this side, I don't know. But y'all see how like how long this one right here is versus on the other side? I'm like, was I twisting different or like curling, not twisting, was I curling different or what? <laughs> but look at how bomb this definition is. Like y'all, it's looking so good and feeling like really, really voluminous, really, really bouncy. I'm really loving this for us right now. Like, I'm loving this for us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, get into it. It's really the curls for me. Y'all. Baby, do y'all see these curls? Do y'all see these curls? And I have not even fluffed yet. So, I'm gonna go in with my pick. Just a little bit, ooh that rhyme. And I'm gonna just get a little bit more volume. I did separate my hair a good bit though, y'all. Don't get me wrong. And if you do want even more volume, like say you just going for some crazy volume, you wanna split your hair into multiple parts and get all up in there. So like split this in half, split that in fourths, and pick each and every section out and you're gonna get some crazy volume. I'm kinda in the, like trying to figure out do I wanna do no part or like keep the middle part? Cause I'm pretty sure I could do no part as well. But I just don't like my hair with no part. I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna figure it out later. But here's what the side looks like. Nice and voluminous, every curl in unison, honey. Like, talk to your good sis. And I'm so happy I did on stretch hair because it really does look good. It looks really, really nice. Here's the back looks like. The volume is crazy, y'all. And then, and then here's what this side over here looks like. Oh, the volume is amazing. Like, look at how voluminous my hair is. And I literally use one product, like just the mousse. Aside from that leave-in, but that leave-in didn't really do much. Oh yeah, and I used the fro butter, so maybe like two slash three products-ish. But honey, this looks amazing. And the volume I get on day one, like if y'all know whenever I do my regular Perm Rod sets, like if you watch Perm Rod 101, then you know that um, I literally had to stretch my hair with the blow dryer to get like this type of, this type of result. And my curls weren't as like, this is more bouncy and you know, just flowy. So it most definitely is a difference whenever you do it on stretch hair versus just regularly doing it on wet hair. Um, which one do I prefer? I prefer this because, oh, it just looks so good. It's so like, it's just so freeing. Like I could just do whatever I want. That's how I feel. Like I could just do whatever I want, you know. I got my curls. I could just live my life to its fullest potential. <laughs> No, I'm being extra, but I really do love my hair like this, and I may I may show you guys some other footage whenever I get my makeup done and everything. I may insert some photos or some videos, but if not, I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about this tutorial, this video. I want to hear from y'all because I most definitely am loving it. Oh, I love it so much. So. Let me know down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in my next video.